All right, so let's say you wanted to make maybe like an iPad. It has It's square, but it has rounded edges. So I'm gonna show you an easy way to do something like that. So we'll take our sphere here, and, uh, and just so you know, this isn't the original sphere. When you open Nomad, the original sphere, sphere is like really high number of vertices. So all I did was delete the original one and just bring back a normal sphere. But I just want you to start out at the same place that I'm starting out. So it's just a regular sphere. So once it's validated, uh, basically just go to symmetry and then go down here to vertex, tap that and then tap vertex. Okay, I'm just gonna hit front again. So now we're gonna use this red arrow, not the sphere, the arrow, and we're just gonna stretch this out and it'll make like a pill shape. Okay, perfect. So now we have this pill shape. But if you want to now, so now you have the rounded edges. Now let's say if we could do the same thing and just stretch it out that way. But when you try to move it with the arrow, it just moves up. When you try to move it with the sphere, it just does this. Not really much like an iPad. So what we have to do is stretch it the same exact way that we stretched this. And the way that we did that is because the symmetry is on the X axis, like by default. So if you go down and hit show line, that will always help when you're using the symmetry tool and it'll help you to figure out, you know, what's happening. So if you notice on the gizmo, this is red as well. The same because that's the this is the same as this. It's that straight up and down axis. That's the X. So if we want to stretch it up and down, we have to use the green. See the green cuts in the middle. So what we need is this green, but we need it all across here in the middle and not the X. So you go to symmetry. Okay, we need the green one. So we turn the red off, we open the green. So now we have the green all around. So we have the same settings. We have symmetry and then we have here and we have vertex. You need those to be able to stretch this way. So if you wanna make the pill shape, you need validated symmetry and vertex. So now we changed it from the red to the green. So now when we pull up on the arrow, it should stretch. So then we have, oops, so then we have a nice stretch. We can do about iPod length, something like that. I guess it's an old iPod, it's, it's quite round. But now we have that, so that looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take it off of symmetry, off of vertex, back to auto, back to regular. So now everything looks good. So the only thing that you would need to do now is maybe you could take this sphere and shrink it a little bit like that. And then I would turn it to the side and then I would take trim with rectangle and I would trim it maybe like this, something like that. And then I would see, get like little, it gets kind of messed up a little bit inside. So I'm just gonna voxel remesh it probably around like 200 or so and it's nice and cleaned up uh, and you can smooth, you can do round edge if you have that. If not, just look at the description for the uh, Nomad Sculpt cheat sheet videos. So you have something like this and if you wanna make a screen, what I would do is I would just clone this, take the gizmo, let's do pivot, center, pivot, just to get the pivot in the center. I would pull this up and then I would shrink it a little bit and yes, I know that there's probably easier ways to do it. I'm gonna get a thousand comments on easier ways to do it. The best way to get these easier ways out is to make videos and show people. That way I can learn too. I'm happy to learn, but it's hard to learn from reading. So we have to make videos. That's how, that's how we learn, that's how I've learned. So I would do something like this to make like the, the edge of the screen. And of course you can do like a, a Boolean so let's say uh, this is the screen. So let's just rename this screen. And this is the iPad. These are gonna change soon, but that's okay. I know, it's annoying, I shouldn't, I always do that. I always do that. I, there we go, it's like this, right? And that's the iPad. So we wanna use a Boolean. So tag both of them, hide the one that you wanna Boolean cut. Well, let's clone it first, clone it first. So let's select both of these, we have the clone. We, we hid the one we want to cut. We hit Boolean. We hit Boolean. <clears throat> Excuse me. My voice is going out, but I'm going to get through this. So now we have that 
space there. Where is it at? There we go. So now we have that space. So if we want to bring it down and, and kind of marry it up so it's a little bit closer, we can do that so it's a little bit more flat. And then you can just, I'll bring these back to lit PBR. It's so dark. I'll make this black and shiny and make this like, I don't even know what an iPad color would be. Oh, I guess, I guess they're kind of like, they're kind of like a matte. The screens are kind of like matte. Well, I have a matte screen detector. So it would be something like this. Where are my lights? All my lights are off. I'm not going to figure out the lighting, but that's how I would do it. Uh, I might try to, I haven't done it in a while. I, mean, I might try to put a picture on this, like put a picture on it, do the additive. So like the picture like shines. So I might do that if I can figure it out quickly. I'll do that in another video. So make sure you subscribe so you can see all these little tricks. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Rolling and action horse. Hello. What's your name? My name's Horace, and I'm a cartoon. Are you a cartoon too? Hmm. Are you sure? Ah. Do you like pancakes? Q pancakes. Wow. Only cartoons like pancakes. Love pancakes. Do you like pancakes? Hello, you are a cartoon. <laughs>